Yay! Everybody's happy! Hooray! Hooray! <clears throat> Hi, everyone! Hi, Leslie! Yeah, it's very sunny today here in Massachusetts. Very. So that's awesome. Um, yeah, what else? It's the first day of, well, I guess t yesterday was. Yesterday was like the longest day in the world. My son and I uh, met over breakfast this morning and uh, discussed the merits of daylight savings time. Hi, Susan. Um, and uh, <clears throat> there's two Susans, two Susans on. We discussed the uh, merits of daylight savings times. He doesn't feel like there are any uh, merits, and I kind of have to agree with him. Uh, when you have dogs, it's like you don't get to enjoy that extra hour. So that's that. Um, yesterday, we had a little bit of a, you know, um, a real-life situation, and we couldn't have our um, create and escape meeting because uh, Susan, not Susan, <laughs> Wendy uh, was getting ready for that huge baby shower that she was making all the onesies for. And uh, then Pasquale was not feeling well. So I hope he's okay. Um, and so we did a little pivot and we had a nice little chat on Facebook, um, and we talked about the merits of YouTube and Facebook, and we also talked about the upcoming weeks until Christmas, because that's it's down to that. Um, and we have like I think seven more date nights that I'm planning out, and so we have, um, we have planned out some. Some of the date nights, and uh, this Saturday, I know that I mentioned it yesterday um, on Facebook, but I mentioned it today. But this Saturday, we're going to be doing this. No, you're not late, Paralita. <clears throat> we're going to do this, which is the Village Church. I actually already cut it all out. It looks rather big. Um, I, I can't really tell from the picture. So it looks pretty big. We're going to do that this Saturday. And then next Saturday, the 20th, is our card making marathon, our Christmas card marathon, which uh, is going to also be a Zoom call. And what else is there? Um, so it's kind of like a crop if you, you're into crops. Uh, I know Susan d goes to crops and stuff. So, uh, and if you've never heard of a crop, basically it's you know you go and you crop for scrapbooking. It's it's like you crop your pictures and share ideas and things like that. Um, and that this was pre machines, although I think some people bring their machines with them, which is kind of cool. So um, so our card making marathon is on the 20th and then we also have the saturday after thanksgiving we are going to make a gingerbread house a very large we're actually going to make two gingerbread houses we're going to do birds cards gingerbread clock and we're going to do um Dreaming Trees Gingerbread House. So we have two that we're going to do, and um, that's coming up. One is coming up in November. The other one's going to be in December. So you can choose which one you want. Um, <clears throat> so the hours for the card-making marathon, I wanted to check with you all what you think. I'd love it if we could get together, like maybe 1 o'clock Eastern time and go until we go. Um, maybe it's three, four hours, uh, maybe longer. Um, hello, Jane. Hi, Dawn. Hey, bad kitty. Bad kitty. No kitties are bad. Um, uh, and so on that Saturday, the 20th, Lynn, uh, who Lynn is the person that sign that sets up our Zoom calls for us. So, um, hi, Deborah. How are you? 
Oh, Laurie Joe's here. Yeah, so I was thinking like in early afternoon, I know Saturday mornings are tough for a lot of people. So if we just set aside um, the afternoon and sort of just go until we go, starting at like around one or so, um, and we can just do the Zoom and people could pop in and out and I can just stay on. Um, and Lynn, I don't know, Lynn, I don't want to ha- ask you to have to stay for the whole thing, but, um, you know, hi, Deborah. Yes, she is the Zoom goddess, isn't she? Hi, Kirsten. Hello, everyone. So, um, so those are, yeah, we're making all these plans. It's so awesome. And the card making thing, um, is going to be the Zoom call. Lynn's going to set that up for us and we would just, um, just do the, uh, Zoom thing, and I was hoping that I could get a few people that would like to demonstrate some things. Um, and it, you know, if somebody it wants to do a demonstration, so that that will be fun. Okay, a um, couple of reminders our Cricut Mug Press giveaway is still going on. You can do this every single day. Get your name in every single day. And you can win a Cricut Mug Press valued at uh, $199 plus $50 worth of materials. So that could be infusible ink, sheets, pens, or even mugs if they're in stock. So it will be $250. Even though we will pick the winner, I think we picked the winner on the 19th or 18th the 19th, which is next week. Um, I'll announce it on the 20th, but it won't ship until the 1st of the month because um, the person that runs the giveaways is in Hawaii oh, enjoying her wedding anniversary with her kids which is and her husband obviously but um, so she's in Hawaii so we will not bother her until the beginning of the month so today we're going to be working on a pie box. I love these little pie boxes. When I first saw them, I thought, why would you make a pie box to put pie in? Wouldn't it ruin it? And then somebody said, um, <clears throat> no, you wouldn't put pie in there. I was just thinking, you remember when this is back goes back to 70s and 80s. But remember, they'd have cake boxes when you'd go to a wedding and you take home a slice of cake and you're supposed to like put it under your pillow to dream about your future love. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I just thought it was like a cake box. And so I didn't, I didn't really ever kind of pay any mind to it. But then I thought this would make a great little treat box so you can put little candies in there or it would look really good on the place settings. In fact, maybe I'll make some more and we'll do it for our friends giving place setting um, thing we're doing at Create and Escape. That might be fun. Uh, I'll make some other things as well. We'll make, we've got um, <clears throat> different things we've already done, like the place cards and the little things that we've done, like the turkey pop-ups and stuff. So I'll bring a lot of those to our Friendsgiving, which I think is coming up. I don't know if it's this sa- this Sunday or next Sunday. But at any rate, this is actually... Um, hi, Mama Bear. This is actually a really cute um, little box Oh, yeah, you could put saran wrap, duh, Rita. <laughs> but it's a cute little uh, pie box that I just think it, it's a cute thing and might just be a decoration. Or if you want a chance putting pie in there, wrap it in saran wrap. So um, let's look for where this is. And it's very ornate to cut out, but your machine will handle it well. Um, this, as I mentioned, is a free file. So, um, and it's in design space. Well, I, I want to say free, it's free to, uh, nope, we're going to do the pie banner. That's next week. Okay. Next week is the pie banner. This week is packed. It is packed to the gunnels. Today we're doing this. Tomorrow we're doing um, the cork. We're, 
we're doing the iron on on cork. We're going to be Wednesday. We're doing a, like a little Advent uh, project that I came up with. Thursday is my concertina card. Um, Friday we are doing a cookie sheet that is decorated with sleeps until Christmas. Now you will need to, if you want to do that, you will need to find either a cookie sheet or something similar so um, that you can make that. And then on Saturday night is the church. So next week will be the pie banner because I love pie. It's obvious, right? Um, I didn't bring home the cake. I brought home the man. Woo! Go girl, Deborah. 37 years. Oh, I love it. I love it. So let's go ahead and uh, start with a brand new slate here. Um, oh, that's lovely, Diana. Diana says she makes a wine advent calendar where little bottles of wine. That's awesome. Mm, yeah, chocolate turkeys. Maybe. I don't know. That'd be kind of interesting. Chocolate turkeys inside of a pie box. Hmm. I was just going to put chocolate left over from, from uh, Halloween if my kid doesn't eat them all. So um, let's go into images because images are fun. And I love the image search engine uh, <clears throat> in Design Space. It is huge. So um, it is 263,000 images. Yikes, and most all of those are for design space access customers. So you see these A's on here, that means access. If you are new to us, first of all, I wanna say welcome, welcome, and introduce yourself because this is the friendliest group on YouTube or the internet, um, very nice. And we've all made some really wonderful friends, lifetime friends, I think. Uh, so uh, introduce yourself if you're feeling like I'm over here crafting by myself because we all craft together and we have a blast. So that's fun. Um, anyway, so Cricut Access, as I've mentioned to some of you just getting started, is for me, it's a lifesaver. I don't have to go and look for images um, all over the internet. Some people will say, well, you can get the images for free, but Honestly, they curate it for you here. I don't need to spend any more time on the internet. I already spend way too much time on the internet. So I, I tend to use, um, I tend to use my access a lot and it's so it's well worth it to me plus I get discounts. So um so we're going to look for a pie box here and um I want to show you the image set that it comes in. Um, so here is actually a pie box, but there are actually a couple of different ones here. This is the one that we're going to do today, but look, there's, there's a plain one. This looks plain. I don't know what that one's supposed to be. Oh, it's supposed to be a little picture of a pie on the top. Ah. I don't know. Anyway, this is the one we're gonna do. This one looks cute too. So let's have a look at this image set just so you know. So if you want to look at where this image came from, okay, you can go up to this triple dot right next to each of the image, right? Triple dot and you will see this is, first of all, this is the name of it, that's why it came up, because it was called Pumpkin Pie Box. If it was called something else, it might not come up. Um, and then underneath is the image number, and you can search by image number if you want. And then the last thing says, View Image Sets. So I'm gonna click on that. You also notice that I have here, down here, that is saved. I've saved or bookmarked this image so I can come back to it. So I'm gonna, let's look at the image set for this. It's actually kind of cute. And um, if you wanted to make, say, a pilgrim hat or a, um, or an acorn that was 3D. I actually like the leaves on this. It's a small, um, it's a small image grouping. I'm trying to remember the name of it. They 
I don't, for some reason, they aren't showing the names of the image sets right now. I actually did this hat and it's huge. I was really surprised. I thought it was going to be small. No, it was really pretty big. So, <clears throat> so I did that last year. But um, this were, is what we're going to do today. And I just want to point out, there's an acorn. Actually, there's two different acorns. This is supposed to be an apple. I'm not sure why there are two of these. I don't know if one's bigger than the other. It looks it. But you could certainly put together a whole, like, bushel basket of apples or something like that. Or maybe you want to make, like acorns and leaves for your center of your uh, table, that sort of thing. Um, so definitely kind of bookmark these images as you can see, I've bookmarked several. So this is the one we're just going to click on that and add it to our canvas. There's not much that you have to change about this, but um, I did make, I think I made some changes. So it comes in and it's, uh, I'm going to ungroup it and it's uh, this is the size now if you are working with uh, let's say a joy and you want to make these you would have to first sort of group everything together like this and you can do that by hitting um, align center and you will see that the largest piece on here is 7.25 by 8 inches tall. So you'd have to make it so that one of the parameters is less than 4 and a quarter inches, which would be almost half, almost. So it might make a very small pie box. So if you have a joy, it can be done. It just would be very small. Now, the great thing about using images from Design Space is you do not have to attach the lines. Um, and so that's cool. And I'm going to actually cut out the the these two pieces, these two pieces in a darker or uh, uh, um, a darker pumpkin color and then I have this for the lighter pumpkin color and then this is sort of a tan color and then we've got these whipped creams now there are eight of them and I'm going to show you how these go together because they're a little bit confusing um, you'll notice if you look really hard there are two different uh, two different kinds or that one's flipped so that's so that we can put them together and they all match and we can make that whipped cream, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and um, cut this out. I don't think I made any changes here. Uh, oh, I know what I did. So the whipped cream, for some reason, the two colors, um, there's two colors of whipped cream and I thought, eh, I don't wanna do that. So I did consolidate it and I just moved them all to one color. Uh, and that's what I did. And that way, when I went to cut it, I really am just cutting it on three pieces of cardstock. Um, except that when you get here, um, you're gonna you're gonna have to move for some reason, you're gonna have to move this to that front page. Um, so you can actually, uh, if you want to make two at a time, you can do two at a time and all these inside pieces will fit if you just kind of do this, uh, and you go two. So here, here's our two. And what you can do is this piece you can move to here and this piece you can move to the second one. You see how I'm doing that? I'm using move object, then I'm arranging it. And it will, I don't think you can cut this on eight and a half by 11 inch paper, but um, you might be able to if you figure out this whole thing. Yeah, you could, you could. If you move these two pieces together, this would fit on an eight and a half by 11 inch. Might be a little bit tight right here. Um, so, there's your two, and then look, here are your inserts, which uh, you cut out on a 12 by 12, and then here's my pie crust, and then here are all my 
whipped cream together, okay? You'll notice that there's scoring on here. I would recommend if you have a maker that you use a scoring wheel to score. But if you don't have a maker, use your scoring stylus right here. This is a scoring stylus and you put that in clamp. Let's go over here so you can see. This goes into this clamp. This is a scoring stylus, okay? So since I have a maker, um, I will need to make that choice on my, uh, it's okay, Faye, we're all like crazy with the, with the uh, sleeping and the time change. So, um, so when I'm doing this on this part here, I'm going to choose, I can either choose um, cardstock for intricate cuts, which I probably would for these, for these intricately cut. And then you will see on a maker, it says that I should put in the scoring wheel. If I do not want to put the scoring wheel in, I can change this by hitting editing tools and choosing scoring stylus. And then that change will apply to all of your, um, your mats as long as you don't change the base material set. Okay, so um, so then you would just cut this all out. It would take you to get two of them. It would only uh, take you two, three, four, five, five pieces. Make sure you move these things. Five pieces of cardstock. So that's where we are. I don't need to show you how to um, how to cut it out because you guys know. Um, how to cut it out, but I'm going to show you how to put it together because the scoring is a little uh, is a little difficult. All right, so so it is a 3D box like this. It comes off the with the cover like that, so you can definitely store something in there. We just don't know what we're going to be storing in there. If it's going to actually be pie or maybe it's just candy and treats or maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's just decorative. Um, so there are like three main pieces here. This is the actual pie and these are the pieces that are going to go here on the inside edge of the pie box, as you can see, like this. So let's work on that first. Now, I always, always um, score with, a, I like a nice crisp score line. So when I score, I always score kind of both ways. And if you don't, um, if you don't have one of these, I'm sure you probably do, but if you don't have one of these, you should get one or something else similar to it. It's often called a bone folder, and it helps you to create that really nice crease. So we're going to gently fold over at these three lines. You see, like, it's not quite crisp enough and then we're going to just stick, gently do that and I like to move it the other way and gently do that. Okay so all three of these are scored and you will notice that there are tabs here on the end. So let's fold those like this. We're not going to put it together yet and you can also score it like this if you want. So before we put this together, let's go ahead and put these uh, side pieces in. I'm going to put the the good side, <laughs> the good side, uh, facing the outside. So this is textured cardstock. So I'm going to put that good side facing out. Now listen, um, you could if you don't like this ornate stuff, you could remove it if you want. Um, and I can show you how to do that. But I kind of like it. It's pretty. And uh, we just need to be careful about putting the right amount of glue on. Uh, and we've got a lot of little holes. So we need to be careful that we're not using a lot. Okay.
and we are going to place this here and scoring it ahead of time is a good thing because it helps us with the placement because it really it goes right up to the score line I got a little bit of glue seeping out there so I use my weeding tool to get some of it out I wouldn't have to do that if I used the proper amount of glue. Okay, but so, and then we're gonna do the other side. So let's go ahead and glue this side now. My son is fascinated with supply chain, the, uh, the problem with the supply chain. Don't know why, but he, He's like, we better get started on our shopping early. I don't know how much shopping he does. Um, but maybe he's trying to ask me <laughs> to get started on the shopping. And he's really into it this year. So I hope that that lasts throughout the year. There have been Thanksgivings where he didn't want to even come to the table. So, um, so he's made quite the stride. All right, so just so you can see what I did, I put those two pieces here on the side and now I'm going to close up this box with our glue. Hi, Carol. Oh, are you in, uh, you in like the West, are you on the West Coast? He's, he can be sweet. Sometimes he gets a little bit rough. I don't like that, but, um, like he gets rough with teddy bear. So, so yesterday we, um, took the, all the dogs to get groomed. Um, so I had to go over to get Lola, but I made a mistake because I forgot to, because Lola's only been with us since July and I haven't gotten her groomed. So I made a mistake and I didn't have the vet send her records over. So I went all the way, we went, I should say, all the way to Beverly, picked up um, Lola, put, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. So we put all three dogs in the car and I just drive like a little SUV, um, a Honda. And so Owen says, what are we going to do? Where are we going to put all these dogs? So I said, okay, we'll put Teddy Bear in the front because he's so spoiled. And so he got in the front. And then um, Lola wanted to go in the back with Owen. So that's where she went. And then I was like, well, what about Banji? So I, Owen opens up the hatchback and says, well, he's going to go in the back here. And and he's so small. He's like the smallest of all three. So we kept, you know, we're just going from Beverly to Danvers. And, um, and whoops, I ripped this. Not good. Um, and while we were going from one city to the other, at the stop signs and the stoplights, Teddy's, uh, not Benji's, poking his head out the back seat of of the, it was just so funny. It caused a couple of women to laugh hysterically, you know. Well, that was kind of fun. Um, and then we dropped them off and had to bring Lola back. And so then we went to go get Lola. And I'm sorry, get the boys after they were done. And um, I had to, you have to pay at the register. So I'm like, I'm paying at the register and the I'm calling the dogs. Owen's trying to like, cause there's a ton of dogs in there. It's Sunday. And so everybody brings their dogs in there and I'm trying to pay and I'm saying, come on, Teddy, come on, Benji. And some woman walked right up to me and said, I know you. And I said, you do? She goes, yeah, I know you from Facebook. Um, I only recognize you because of your dogs. <laughs> and, um, and so I thought that was really sweet and funny. So, um, anyway, 
I got off track here. I apologize. But anyway, so we're going to uh, fold just like we did here. We're going to fold this, and I actually didn't put this in there, so I will. I'm going to put that in there. Put the glue on here. But having him stick his head up, he like, you know, he likes to bounce up because he's so short. And he likes to bounce like up on your lap with his front paws. He just really likes to do that. He's not like, it's, it's very light. But he did the same thing in the car. And it was just funny to watch. Because we're at the stoplight, you know, and uh, and to see these people just laugh and look at that dog. I suppose you don't often see that. They really liked it. Anyway, so we're then we're going to close. Now these have very small tabs, so be patient with that and hold it. Now I ripped this here, but that's okay can still use it. I just put a dab of glue right there. All right. So that's kind of, that's that, okay? So this will fit right on top of here. Now we have to do the crust. So there's uh, three solid score lines here. I'm going to um, make them nice and crisp. After I fold them, I'm going to get my, my scraper or whatever you use. You can use a credit card or let's fold it this way. this one so yeah that was funny she was picking up her dog and she, she's like I know you because of your dogs I heard you na say their names and of who you know I guess Benji and Teddy Bear are unique names I don't know well Teddy Bear is spelled Ted E Bear he got that because Owen wanted to name him Edward, and I wanted to name him Ted. And even though Ted is short for Edward, and in fact, our mayor's name is Ted, and his first name is Edward. So even though um, people were, he just, he wanted it to be Edward. And so we compromised, and it's Ted E, the E stands for Edward, Bear. Ted E. Bear. That's his name. People get a kick out of that, but it's really my kids because it's a compromise that I made with my kid. I didn't want to be calling my dog Edward. Uh, and, and he would have insisted I call him Edward. Uh, so, so that was that. And he's definitely more, he's, he's a chunky one. So he's more of a Teddy than he is anything else. All right. Now, it looks to me like this did not cut well. So I'm going to just take my true control knife and just remove that piece. Sometimes it happens if it's a very thin cutout. Okay. So this is going to then go on here. And we want for the, you don't have to put this on. Um, and we want for that those pie pieces on the side to stick really well. So we're going to put some glue there and then a little bit on the back here. We got in a conversation this morning about this um, daylight savings time, but then um, I was saying, well, you know, if you think about it, time zones are kind of weird. Like, why do we switch our time zones? He did not. And this, so then he proceeded to tell me why. Um, apparently, you know, has something to do with the where, where the sun hits at noon. So, <laughs> so I don't know. He's like, I'm trying to tell you, but I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm like, that's fine. 
All right, so we're pushing on the sides here at the bottom so that it's nice and closely set to the pie. And we can turn it this way and do this. And there is our pie. And what pumpkin pie is complete without some, oops, I forgot a piece. This is going to go on the back, so it looks like the cute um, thing. So um, after I do this, we're going to work on the making the whipped cream, which I think is really cute. Oops, put too much glue on there. It will dry. All right, so there is our pie box. Let's talk whipped cream. <laughs> um, okay, so these are cut out. So this is the right side, right? Um, so these are cut out so that there's four that have um, this like double loop here, and then there's four that are, it's on the other side. So separate those. And use your uh, your scoring, whatever thing you want to use. I'm using this. And get a really good score on this. It's a little hard, but you want to do that. So make sure you go and you score them really well. Because this is the way that it goes together. Um, and... And it will look less bulky. This is also something we've done with ornaments. And we'll do again with uh, Christmas ornaments. You really want to get a nice score on that paper. Because it is medium weight paper. Alright, so then put our two little piles together. There's this one. And there's this one. One, two, three. Four. And then so start with one, whatever you want it to be. And we are going to put glue right here on this side for the first one. That's probably a little too much glue. Then we're going to take one from the next side that matches up, you see. And try to keep it as straight as possible. It will help when you get to the end part. So then we go back to this one and that matches up again. And we just go back and forth. If you would like, you could also, um, you could also do this in sort of sections, but it's the same thing. You have to use the two different, um, the two different sides so that they'll match up. If they were exactly the same, you wouldn't have to do it, but they're not, and I kind of like that. All right. Make sure you're getting them completely matched up because in the end, it will look really 3D-ish looking 3d and this is how it looks on the inside and I suppose if you wanted to you could also put I don't know why you'd want to do this but if you wanted to you could hang this on like a Christmas tree or something if you wanted to by um by the you'd have to probably have to glue the pie shut but maybe if you're making it on a joy and it's small then what you could do is slip an ornament hanger right here before we close it completely up. And you might be saying, ah, eight is too many and eight is enough. <laughs> eight is enough. Remember that show? Dick Van, Dick Van Patten, I think. It's a pretty show, a nice show. Okay, so we're still, and you see I'm getting a little off, but try the best you can to try to get it 
all lined up together. And the last one, you're going to glue at both places. Line it up. If you have to, you can take out some of those little leaves. But line it up the best you can. And then fluff it out like this. See? All right, and mine's a little off, but that's okay. And I'm going to put some glue right here and then just stick it without touching it. I'm going to stick it here. Um, it, or you could use hot glue if you wanted to, but I, I, uh, I think this will work. And that is your completed pie box. Isn't it cute? Oh, have fun at Zumba. So there is our project for today. Isn't that fun? Um, and we'll check out the that, I think it's like Falling for Autumn or something it's called. But, but anyway, it is on Cricut Design Space and you can grab it and resize it if you want to. I think I was telling you um, about resizing. So let me just go back. So we did talk about resizing for the joy. Um, but what you have to make sure is when you resize that all of your pieces are sized proportionately. So how I do that is I usually ungroup them and then center them and regroup them like this. And that way I can make my pie bigger or smaller and everything else will change um, accordingly. So you don't want to have a big pie box and little teeny tiny uh, whipped cream or vice versa type of thing. Okay. <laughs> I know. I love pie. Actually, my pie, I, got, I have some pie um, some pumpkin, sweet pumpkins, or whatever you call them, pie pu pie pumpkins, and uh, I'm gonna cook those. I think today, where um, I love to to cook my own pumpkin instead of buying in the can. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Enjoy and um, get some crafting in. I'll see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow is our cork. We're going to be trying out iron on on cork. I didn't have very good luck the first time around. So, um, so wish me luck and I will bring my findings to you tomorrow at the same time at the same place. Thanks, everybody. Oh, yeah, sweet potatoes you could do. Right, right, right. All right, have a wonderful day. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. And uh, I hope to see you all again tomorrow. Have a great day.